so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Yeah! Nice music! Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just grooving to some tunes. Check this out, though. <laughs> Do you see this? This is a tie-dye shirt, and today you and I are going to make a tie-dye shirt. Wow, it's so colorful. Let's list all these colors. Up top, there is the color blue. Yeah. And then below that, looks like it's the color pink or red. Pinkish red. <laughs> and then we have yellow, like the color of the sun. And then we have orange at the bottom. Do you see it? Whoa! This shirt is so groovy. <laughs> All right, let's go get some supplies and make our very own tie-dye shirt. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. We have all the materials and supplies we need to make our tie-dye shirt. <laughs> all right, we don't need this because we're gonna make one. <laughs> so, first you start with a white t-shirt. Yeah. Like this, see? And then you take a dye. Yeah, let's see, a fabric dye. This is the orange fabric dye. This one is red. This one is blue. This one is purple. And this one is yellow. <laughs> and then we have some rubber bands and you tie the shirt really tight. And then you spray the dye on it but you have to wear your gloves <laughs> or else your hands are gonna get stained. I don't want that. And then we have a bag for later. I'll show you what that's all about. And the water. Okay, so first step, we need to get the shirt wet. Just like that. Let's get it nice and wet. Wow, <laughs> that water's really cold. Okay. Squeeze out all the water. Whoa. <laughs> We're so strong. All right. And then let's lay the t-shirt out on the table. Yeah. And the cool thing about tie-dye is you can do so many different designs. And it's all about how you twist and crunch the shirt and wrap the rubber bands around it. So let's, uh, let's do a swirl. <laughs> I love swirls. Yeah, kinda like ice cream swirls. <laughs> I love ice cream. Okay, here we go. So you just twist it, swirl it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to pick the colors. Okay. There we go. And then you have a nice bunched up shirt. You could even bunch it, but I chose to swirl it. And then you take these rubber bands and, and wrap them around the top and the bottom of the shirt, just like this. Yeah, this white shirt is gonna be so colorful. <laughs> All right, there's two rubber bands. Here is three rubber bands. Perfect. This is looking so good. And then here's the fourth rubber band. <laughs> wow. Will you count to four with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> good job. All right, now we get to pick our colors. But remember, <laughs> let's put on our gloves. Okay, here we go. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a lot of colors. I know. I think I'm going to choose two colors. My two favorite colors. Do you know what colors they are? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, blue and orange. All right, here's the two colors. And then, uh, 
take the caps off. And then you get to squirt the shirt in whatever way you want. I'm gonna squirt some blue right there. I'll skip some and squirt some blue right there. How about some blue right there? <laughs> and some blue right there. Wow. The shirt was all white. But now what color is it? Yeah, there's two colors. Blue and white. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give it a little more. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> All right, so then the other color, like I said, is orange. So let's squirt that white and get it nice and orange. There we go. Wow, we are doing so good. There we go. Perfect. Wow, amazing. Wow, this looks so good. Do you see it? We have blue and orange. <laughs> All right, set that down. And now you take the big plastic bag and you put the shirt in there. And close it up. And now we get a weight, but you have to keep it in here for at least six hours. You can even do it up to 24 hours if you wanted to. The longer you keep it in this bag, the darker and more vibrant the colors are gonna be. Hmm, I think we should probably wait eight hours. So, let's wait. Hmm, we're almost done waiting, but I think what we should do is mix two colors and see what color it makes. First, let's take our blue. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, blue water. Then let's take, how about red? Hopefully it doesn't spill on me because I don't have my gloves on anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blue and red. Whoa, what color is that? I have my mixing tongs. <laughs> wow, yeah. Blue and red make the color purple. Wow, let's put a little bit more red in there. Wow, now it's a dark purple. Whoa, that's fun. Okay, well, I think our t-shirt has been in here for long enough. It's been about, yeah, multiple hours. So now I'm gonna go take this to the sink, take the rubber bands off and rinse it off. And then I'm gonna go put it in the dryer. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Our shirt is complete. Wow, all right, here it is. Do you see it? Wow, yeah. It's blue and orange. Can you see how it, where I swirled it? Right about there. Wow, it's so cool. Time to try it on. <laughs> wow, how do I look? <laughs> that was awesome. I love making tie-dye shirts. Woo! <laughs> I sure do love tie-dye shirts. Whoa! Maybe now, at home, you can make your very own tie-dye shirt. <laughs> I am so excited to see the creation that you make. <laughs> all right, well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, all right. See you later! Woohoo! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Flippy! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and I'm just reading this really cool book. Yeah, it's called Penguins Love Colors by Sarah Aspinall. <laughs> it's about all these penguins that have a different favorite color. Green, blue, Violet, 
red, orange, and yellow. Whoa, I love this book. Whoa, check this page out. Yeah, it looks like a garden. There's so many flowers and so many colors. Whoa, even a rainbow. Hey, rainbow plus garden equals rainbow garden. <laughs> Hi, Flippy. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Sarah Aspinall. <gasps> Sarah Aspinall? Wait a second. <gasps> like the author and the illustrator of this book? That's me. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> would you like to make a rainbow garden of your very own, Flippy? Yeah, I think that would be so much fun. Well, come this way. I've got all of the things you need. Ooh, all right. Here is a box full of lots of fun art surprises for you to have your very own art Wow! Well, thank you so much, and we are very excited to make our very own rainbow garden. Have so much fun, Blippi! All right, see you later! Bye! <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I sure am. Let's do this! Whoa! <laughs> all right, let's find all the things that we need inside this box. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> oh, wow! Woo! It looks like we have a white palette. Okay, that right there. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> oh! Wow! An apron? Yeah, a green apron. It actually has a lot of paint on it. I'll set that right over here and we'll put that on before we start using all of the paints. Whoa! Hey, a sponge? <laughs> okay, put the sponge right there. Ooh, a salad spinner? Whoa, I know what this is used for. I'll show you really soon. Okay, and we have some scissors, a little paintbrush, <laughs> and of course, a lot of paint. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. Let's see. <laughs> yep. That's all. Okay, let's put on this apron so then I don't get dirty. All right, here we go. Tie it nice and tight. Perfect, there we go. All right, okay, let's organize a little bit. Whee! <laughs> all righty. Okay, so we have our paint over there, salad spinner right there, big piece of white paper, little teeny paintbrush. <laughs> Put that in there. Oh, can't forget about the book. So then we can reference what we're making. How about that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, remember? We're making this picture. A rainbow garden. All right. So first we need to make a big piece of paper of rainbow colors. So let's take a little bit of red and a paintbrush. We're gonna put it on the sponge, okay? So, let's actually just squirt it right here. Okay, and now that we have a lot of red right there, we need to do all the other colors. But I actually have an idea. I think I should use this palette and fill it up. Might make it a lot easier. Okay, now let's take the paintbrush. All right, and let's put some orange right here. Yeah, so now we have red and then orange. Need to wash off our brush. <laughs> Perfect. And we need some yellow right here. Wow, <laughs> yellow is so pretty. It's like the color of the sun, okay. Lots of yellow right there. Now we need some green. Okay, whoa, green, perfect. After green, we need some blue. Yeah, perfect. Good amount of blue right there. Do you see this? We're almost done. And now we need some violet. Or purple. They're very similar in looks. Wow. 
There we go. How does that look? Haha, <laughs> yeah, like a rainbow. All right, now for the fun part. Push it down right here. Yeah! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Yeah! And you do that same thing many times in a row, all the way down. So I'll do that now. Whoa! That is so beautiful! Check it out! Whoa! Okay, I'm actually gonna set this over to the side so it can dry. It's a little wet still. Perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is take this salad spinner. Yeah, <laughs> you normally put salad, kale, romaine, lettuce inside here, and you spin it around. <laughs> and it flings all the water off of it. But today, what we're gonna do is we have a white piece of paper right there, and we get to put some colors in here, and then spin it, and then it pushes all the paint off to the edges. Okay, ready? We'll put some yellow. Yeah, that looks really good. And then how about we put some orange. I love orange. Yeah, just like that. Wow, yellow and orange. <laughs> and how about a few drops of red. Yeah, how about that? Just a couple. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Now, let's put the top on. Now it's all sealed. Here we go. Whoa! That was awesome. I just spun it so fast. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Whoa! Wow! That is amazing! We just made that by spinning this around really quick. Okay, it's pretty wet, so let me put it off to the side so then it can dry. Okay, now that I put that off to the side to dry, the original rainbow is probably ready to use. So let me get it. Yep! nice and dry <laughs> all right so now what we need to do let me organize this paint I don't want it to get all over me now that we're all done painting so what we're actually gonna do is take this and make a little squiggly line while we cut ready yeah just like this oh Kind of like a worm. Worms squiggle around. <laughs> or a caterpillar. Or a snake. You see this? Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> okay. Now what I need is a white piece of paper. I have one right on the ground over here. And then I put it on the top. Do you see that? Yeah. It's like a rainbow, just like in Sarah's picture. So, let me get some glue right over here. All right, now that I have this glue, I can glue it down. All right. <laughs> have you ever used a glue stick before? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's not all liquidy like the normal type of glue. This is a glue stick. You just kind of like color it on. But it's no color, you know, like as if you're coloring. Yeah, there's no color to it, it's clear. Perfect. Wow, this looks amazing. You and I are doing a really good job. All right, next step is to take this, remember, the rainbow, and cut out some stems and grass from the other side. I'm gonna set this down right over here, so then, I can start cutting. Okay, let's cut a nice long stem. Yeah, just like that. It's like a really thin, long rectangle. Perfect. Let me do another one. Yeah, I'll start with two. How about that? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. There we go. We have two long rectangles. Yeah. One, two. And these are going to be the flower stems. Okay. Put them right under there. Perfect. Now we need some blades of grass. So what we're going to do is some triangles. Just like that. Some nice, tall blades of grass. <laughs> As if you might need to mow your lawn. <laughs> yeah, and these blades of grass I'm cutting, yeah, are triangles, just like I said. <laughs> Whoa, how does that look? Do you like that blade of grass? <laughs> I sure do. All right, let's put those right here. I'm gonna set this aside and grab my piece of art that had the rainbow on the top and then go. I'm gonna be able to put these on the bottom. And I'll actually cut some more. But let me flip this around and take my glue stick again. <laughs> Whoa. One right in the center. How about one to the side a little bit, huh? Yeah, there we go. I love doing art. Yeah, how does that look? <laughs> yeah, and we'll do the blades of grass too. So colorful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Looks like I need to cut some more and then glue it all down. So let me grab the piece of paper and I'll cut a bunch, all right? <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. All right. I did all the blades of grass and all of the flower stems. <laughs> Now, we need to do the tops of the flowers. So, remember earlier, we did the salad spinners? Yeah! Look at all these other ones that I have. <laughs> okay, so let's cut them up. So then, we can use them for the flower petals. Let's do a half circle. Yeah, like that. How about that? And then we can also do yeah, something really big, because this one is going to be a very big flower. Yeah, perfect. How's that look? All right. And then we need some leaves on this one. So let's go like this. Yeah. And... Perfect. Yeah, just like that. And then we can start gluing them down and making our flowers. So, let's go like this. How does this look? Yeah, that's a beautiful flower. I love the smell of flowers. <laughs> and then, this one will be another flower. Yeah, and a stem. Okay, let's do a, actually, not a stem. A leaf! We already have the stems right there. So a leaf right there, right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more and continue to glue them down. <laughs> Here I go! All right, last but not least, <laughs> let's put the center of the flower. Yeah, that's like where all the pollen is. <laughs> all right, how does that look? Wow! We made our very own rainbow garden. Wow, what a beautiful picture. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thank you so much for learning about all the colors of the rainbow today with me and about flowers. And also that amazing book about penguins by Sarah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm gonna go frame this and put this in my tree house. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs>
This is a tank, and today we're gonna fill it up with water, go around the park, find items to see if they'll either sink or float. But first, we need water. <laughs> Good thing I have a bunch of water. Let's fill it up. One. This looks like the perfect amount of water. Now, let's go to the park, find items, so then we can see if they'll either sink or float. Let's go. Okay, now let's find some items at the playground, and so then we can see if they'll sink or float. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at this. How convenient. It's a tote. Whoa! So then we can put all the items in here. Let's go! Whoa! A rock wall! See? You climb up it. Whoa, whoa! Oh! And look at what it is! Whoa! Look! Some toys! Blue and orange! Okay, watch me climb up the rock wall. Red slide! Whoa! Look at the bottom! Whoa! Look! Whoa! Yeah! Look at what we found! Two more items! These are oranges! Yum! I love oranges! And they're the color orange! <laughs> okay, let's go! found another item. Do you see it? Yeah, see? Right here. This is a dumbbell. Urgh. Makes really big muscles. Yeah. Urgh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wonder if it'll sink or float. It's pretty heavy. Put it in there. Let's go. Come on. Another slide! Look! This is the same color as the last side. It's big and red. Whoa! Look! Yum! Some chips! <laughs> I wonder if these will sink or float. Let's put it in the tote so we can go see. Wow! Look at this area! Whoa, go the other way. Whoa, hello! <laughs> oh, look, another item. Whoa, it's a dog bone. What's this doing on the playset? Hmm, it's the color green. I wonder if this will sink or float. Put it in there so we can go find out. Whoa, wow, the color green. And then also, blue! Ooh. Oh hey, some stairs! Whoa! Hey! I'm so high up 
up here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look over there. A big red slide. Okay, I'll go down. Okay, here I come. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, hey. Look at what we found. Four yo-yos. One is the color green. This one is the color orange. This one is the color blue. And this one is the color red. Let's go see what else we can find. Come over here. What is this? Looks like a steering wheel. Whoa! Oh, I am so dizzy. <laughs> okay, let's go see what else we can find. Woo, look at this. Looks like a staircase. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, another slide. Yeah, and it's the color red. All right. Here I come. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see what I see? Yeah, another item. And these are colored pencils. Whoa, there's so many colors in there. Wow. Okay, let's put it in the tote so we can see if they'll sink or float. Come on. Couple more items, then the tote will be nice and full. Come on. Oh, do you see what I see? <laughs> Look. Wow. This is a magnifying glass. Watch this. Whoa. Wow. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Woo! <laughs> you can see things nice and close. Whoa! Is that an ant? Whoa! A little flea. <laughs> so many cool insects. Okay, let's put this in the tote so we can see if it'll sink or float. Woo! What's over here? Whoa! Whoa! A bridge. Be careful on this. Come on. Watch out. <laughs> Ooh, look at these. Oh, cute little toys. Hey, hello. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> wow, so many cool things. Oh, even more. Ooh. Bright yellow golf balls. One, two, three. Yeah, three golf balls. Okay, here I go. Another slide. Oh, whoa. There's another item down here. Ooh, glow sticks. I'm excited to see if those will sink or float. All right, this looks like a full tote of items. Let's go see if they'll sink or float. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. All right, now that we have all of these items, now we can put them in the tank and see if they'll sink or float. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, a magnifying glass. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I wonder if this will sink or float. I think I know. Ready? Yeah. It went to the bottom. So that means it sinks. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, hey. Orange and blue yo-yos. All right. Let's put them in. Yep, they float. All right, wow. So magnifying glass that's really heavy sinks 
And then the really light things that are full of air, the yo-yos, float. All right, let's see. Ooh, bright yellow golf balls. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's see if these golf balls sink or float. Oh, look, a yo-yo went to the bottom. So now the yo-yo sinks. <laughs> All right, back to the golf balls. Ready? Whoa. Yep, golf balls sink. All right, let's see. Ooh, some chips, snacks. All right, let's see if the bag sinks or floats. Ready? Yep, it floats. But wait a second. What if we take the bag, open it up, and see if the chips inside sink or float. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> All of those float as well. Let's put the bag in there too. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, the dog bone, that's the color green. Do you think it'll sink or float? Pretty hard. It's very dense. Ready? Whoa, it just went to the bottom real quick. So it sinks. All right, ooh, two more yo-yos. <laughs> yep, we already knew those, those float and then eventually sink. Whoa, I bet you know it. This sinks and floats. Yeah, this is a weight. It's full of metal in there, and it's really heavy. Ready? <laughs> yeah, that purple weight sinks. Ooh, look at the water. It's getting really murky because all of the, the chips are disintegrating and going in the water. All right, we better hurry before it gets too dirty to see if they sink or float. All right, these rubber toys <laughs> that are hollow. Ready? Yep, do you see? <laughs> they went to the top. They float. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Some of this orange, uh, nice soft dough clay stuff. Sinks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, yep, it went to the bottom. It sinks. All right, and then colored pencils. Whoa, colored pencils float. Cause they're made out of wood. And a lot of the wood around the world sink, or floats, I mean. Yeah, cause they're all on the top. All right, and last but not least, the neon glow sticks. Whoa. Whoa. Look at them. They're so bright. Whoa. All right. Let's see if they sink or float. Yep. They sink. <laughs> all right. That's all. Well, oh, I have a special surprise for you. The magical vial. This time, whoa, it has blue powder. See, whoa, <laughs> all right. Let's put the blue powder in here. Whoa. <laughs> all right, now we have to stir it. Whoa. It's making it really blue. <laughs> it's so fun to see what sinks and what floats. Wow, <laughs> this blue water is like the water you see in the Bahamas or Thailand. <laughs> Whoa. All right, well, this is the end of this video. That was awesome doing this science experiment to see what sinks and what floats. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much
to learn about It'll make you wanna shout 